The purpose of the session is to talk about jobs in the economy, as everybody knows, and in particular, I think we're all particularly concerned about jobs for young people, jobs in rural communities. What can we do ourselves to put energy into a process of creating employment? This is a question, I guess, uh, would not be for, for the Conservatives or the Liberals because they have been in power and, and my, my honest opinion as a citizen is that you serve the best interests of citizens but you have a wrong conception of what a citizen is. It's a corporation according to your view, so, so you serve corporations. You know? <coughs> the question is, uh, in January this year, uh, an NGO called Oxfam, which is a British uh, NGO that has uh, uh, worldwide coverage, made a very unique call. They made a call to end extreme, not poverty, but extreme wealth. Because it has been shown that extreme wealth is very bad for any society, and we have a, a very good example here in New Brunswick. We have a situation where a handful of families have more wealth than probably more than half of the poorest New Brunswick. So the other hand, we, we, have, we have seen, I think, that this myth of the trickle-down economics, where you benefit the rich, they will create jobs, and it's good for everyone, this is just a lie. And one of the things that Oxfam is saying is we should stop the global race to the bottom of corporate taxes. We should uh, abolish tax havens and we should tax the wealthy properly. So my question to those of you who have not been in power yet, do you think that the, do we still have a chance of having a political party that serves the interests of the real citizens and not of the corporate citizens? And what are you doing? Basically, the thinking you're on is exactly why we started a party. We felt the elitism that's in politics is killing the everyday New Brunswicker. We all know in this room that over the past decades, corporate welfare has taken from the people that pay taxes. And until we change the mindset of politics and government to uh, give strength to small and medium-sized businesses, this is what the People's Alliance is all about. We do not believe in subsidizing uh, the elite corporate uh, uh, massive entities that continue with their hands out. It's not, it hasn't worked. It's not working. It's the reason we have the massive deficit and the debt that we have. And until we completely change course, Focus on the little guy, get back to the everyday people, stop the elitism, the patriotiz uh, patronage that goes on with the major two. The cronyism and nepotism is beyond uh, control and, and, and unfathomable. But you know, in all honesty, I think as much as the politician needs to change, I think we as voters have got to change the way we think as well. We have to break away from traditional lines, start looking at policies and ideas, and uh, vote according to those policies and ideas. And I think that is what's going to change the course of the province. You might be surprised to hear this from a New Democrat. I don't really care about people being rich. I care about people being poor. When the two come into conflict, I'm going to side with the people who are poor and do everything to make sure they're lifted up out of poverty through a combination of government programs, whether it's education, the infrastructure people need to be able to get somewhere to get a job, hopefully not the, the highways one hour down the road that Mr. Harper believes with his EI reforms are going to solve our, our employment problems. But the broader point, absolutely. But we, we always hear politicians talking about, oh yeah, we're going to have a government for the little guy. It's, you know, it's the Tory slogan in the last election, putting New Brunswickers first for a change. And all these sorts of things. It's, it's incredibly easy to say. And I, and I don't mean to be dismissive about that, but because it, it is difficult. There is a reason why people who are wealthy and influential are wealthy and influential. They've managed to use, whether fairly or unfairly, the system in their province or state or country to manage to reach that position, or they've inherited it, in which case they have even more power. So how do you stop that from having an influence?